So we're back again and this time it's our third session and we're going to be talking about the actual devices themselves and how we roll them out. We started off looking at the why, we then chose about, you know, so why you choose devices, you then choose your devices that you're going to go for and now Warwick and I are going to be talking about once you get them and rolling them out. So we've spoken an awful lot about you know, preparation and getting everything ready. Um, some of our schools have a large number of devices turning up throughout the year, not always in one bulk, but you know, it can be quite a lot. Sometimes in, in, in a region of about 800 to 1,000 devices per year. From when you kind of worked within IT, when then you worked within a school, what kind of things go through your head and do you want from a partner that you work with? There's a multitude of challenges there. Simply the storage of 800 devices is your first yeah, point. Do you have the imagine. space to stick you know, pallets of stock around? Um, the waste that comes off that. You, oh, you're okay. going to need three skip bins with all the cardboard and plastic that comes off those devices. Um, the provisioning of those devices, how uh, we're going to deploy applications. Um, okay. You know, uh, what method um, will the students um, have access to the device? Um, when the device is due to be issued, how will that device be issued? Is it 800 kids come and knock on an IT department store and go, oi, we want our device all yeah. at the same time? Um, or is that managed and, 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 uh, and scheduled and, and, and set up through the school yeah. um, in a more, much more manageable way? CT offers something, uh, offers a, a parent portal. Perhaps you can talk us a little bit through through that. Yeah, BYOB, BYOD portals are great. Um, it allows the school to work with a, a third party or a, a trusted partner um, to uh, make sure that the devices that are being advertised to their parents are within the scope and the spec um, that they're looking to use for their teaching and learning needs. Um, it also allows that third party to um, arrange for the scheduling around delivery of equipment, um, in what way that um, uh, equipment comes to the school. Is it coming to the school pre-ready to go, all uh, brought out of its box, in a bag, with the child's name on it, um, or is it, you know, a box delivered to the, to, the, to the student directly, you know, mailed out to their house, they get it over the Christmas break, they can mm. play with it, they bring it into the school to join it onto the network when they get in there. And of course, if you're using something like Intune, there's a great opportunity there for as soon as they actually connect to the internet, pre boom, 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 yeah, downloads it'll, everything. It'll pull down what they need, it'll pull down the school's policies um, to allow the, the device to, to, to be as it would if an IT department um, issued it out to the student directly. It's, it's an interesting thing that you, you, you raised there because you just reminded me actually of when I first joined um, CT, I think it was a really my first week, I went out to one of our partners where we were delivering I think uh, about 250 devices at the time and um, we sent I think it was about four or five people out with the devices. Uh, to your point they were all bagged up, all ready to go, all images already downloaded and we actually sat there as an extension to the IT team to actually help anyone with any logging on issues or things like that. What made me laugh, of course, is as soon as the, uh, the, the school stood up and said, hey, don't open your devices, don't log on. Of course, half the people then open devices and then start logging on and we had to go in, in the system. So it's really interesting to have that communication, isn't it, right at the beginning, right at the offset. Super important. It's the first opportunity someone has to touch the piece of equipment and you want to make sure that their experience is the best they can. Yeah. You know, it's like a first impression, you only get one chance. Yes. Yeah. Excellent.